Nice day today. Nothing more today. Bye, Eivor. I'm proud of the new styles I've been working on. Until I see you next! Do you want to die, please? It's a fine day. Is that it? Goodbye, want? Eivor. Your beggar is done, Tarpen. And our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There is no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though. If you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up downriver. I want to bring a half-dozen bags home. But I would need an extra pair of hands. I can lend a hand. That's a relief. I did not fancy asking Holger. Tarben, what brought you to our clan? Your reputation. Heard folks say a band of hard-drinking, battle-scarred warriors had washed up on shore. Said you had settled in the center of Mercia, taking in whatever floatsam, jetsam, and jumble of misfits came to your docks. And this appealed to you? More than anything. Always been a bit of a drifter. The thought of settling in a rowdy camp felt like a good balance. And being a baker, I knew my services would not be sniffed at. I did not take you for a baker when we met. You have the look of someone who swings an axe. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. But baking is your only craft, is that right? I have always enjoyed it. And I have always been good at it. But when I'm not able to find such work, I take odd jobs where I can, so long as I can work with my hands. Well, we have that in common. Let's see you, old friend. Yes, yes, I see you both. What can I...? It's you. Well, what are you doing in Mercia? Collecting grain. Thirty silvers worth, if you can spare it. I do have the coin. Right. Well... Take what you need and get going. That should cover it. Thank you kindly. Of course. And you, uh... You take good care of yourself. Yeah? Is 
that your usual vendor? He seemed a little surprised to see you. Did he? Well, it could be he knows somebody who looks like me. There's no shortage of big bearded men around here, yeah? I suppose not. your question earlier what would I do if I weren't a warrior I would ask the same of you is baking bread your greatest wish is there something wrong with wanting to bake bread the Romans bake bread the Egyptians baked bread it is a fine trait but is it your calling it is my calling to feed people I'd say to be of service to those I care for and who care for me that brings me joy but that way it is a noble pursuit I don't know that it's noble. It is simply what gets me up in the morning. It gives me purpose for the rest of my day. Need help with your grain? No need, no need. I'll do the rest myself. Bring it in and put it where I like. All right. It was good to speak with you, Turban. A welcome diversion. You too, Eivor. Thank you for your help. You must. Try Abbey Brews the best in Kent. It certainly sounds worth the risk of my immortal soul. Your god is rather a hard taskmaster. And your god forbids the mixing of wool and linen. It sounds to me like he's never heard of England. <laughs> Not all that is written in the scriptures is God's honest truth. Uh, Eivor, you have news? Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rusista. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tedmund must owe you something. Such is his life. Go on. A fortress stormed, a man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would be... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps, perhaps not. Are you hiding something, Bassam? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumberyard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. Do a roaring trade at Reculver and Tunbridge. We pay well for my catch. 
Are the monks? Do those parchment skin Christians ever eat meat? Don't you believe in Jesus? Oh, Over here! here. I'm wary of this abbot, Basil. He is self-serving and evasive. Can you really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the Frog. The frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess, the scorpion reneges, blaming his nature, and both drown. But the scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded, and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Volke, we will die at my hand, and we will continue our search. A sobering approach. Bemisfield is just ahead. Lead. I will follow. I hope this chase will catch us a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude, he will deliver Fulke. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. Ah, you prefer to work in the shadows. should not be seen in this area. Walling and you live. Live? Oh, saints, protect me! S Silence will save you, Tidman. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows. And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels. We hide in plain sight. Such is our way. But only until the moment of success. A final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Sigurd's absence? Hmm. You see my point. A leader must know when to speak and when to stay silent. For silence is not always a lie. It can feel like one. You truly embrace the concept of hiding in plain sight, eh? To its very fullest. As I do in everything. Halt, Danes! In the name of Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? 
He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy root, I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly or I'll slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. I, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedmund pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar, you are far from Augustine's Priory. I, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. We can use you yet, Shergar. Summon Tedmund to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tedmund has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You're of no use to us, then. Perhaps I should just kill you, here or now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let, let, let me think, let me think. Oh, Danes, to, to storm the walls, you need Danes. Th there's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I, acting as Tedmund, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Roosester. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first. I, I am still Tedmund, the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nornia knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Ruth's sister was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We will send word when we're ready to capture Tedmund. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. He'll come with us, and if he betrays me, I will roast his balls over a roaring fire. <laughs> You will not regret this. My wily ways and quick wit will cease the need for bloodshed. I still might kill you yet, man, if your prattling doesn't cease. The rewards for being Tedmund are rapidly diminishing. And how does one become a double? Are there vigorous challenges and tests to overcome? I was born with the misfortune of looking like someone else. I should have stayed on God's chosen path. What took you from it? I'm the seventh son of a poor farmer, and not wanting another mouth to feed, my father gave me to the monks. The cloistered life did not suit you? I thought there would be great comfort in repetition, but instead I found nothing but prayer and back-breaking toil. The Norns weave strange destinies. Now your life depends on the story you weave for yourself. I'm not a good forgerer. Still tears bled and my hands sweat and I have a stutter when I'm nervous, but I will try. <laughs> Ah, the cornerstone of all great art. The captain does not know Tedman well. If we keep our heads, he will not question my orders. I hope. <laughs> Those who remain must be saved, whatever the cost. Let us approach the captain with caution. He drinks too much and does not need a reason to kill us. Yes, it is I, Thane Tedmund, coming to discuss the orders I gave to you not one day ago. This hampock will get us all killed. You murdered our people, men, women, children. I down you dogs. You're slaves of Kent now! Say, Tedmund, what are you doing here? How dare you address me in such a defiant manner? Do you not know who I am? You are Tedmund, as I've said. And I mean no disrespect, Lord. But I was told you were back in Rue, sister. Oh, yes. And, 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 and do I... Do, do I look like I'm in Rue, sister? You, uh, do not, sir. A wise man is always unexpected. You travel in strange company, Lord. An Arab and a Dane. I'm here to advise your thane in the ways of my people. That, that is correct. <laughs> a cultural exchange of sorts. Perhaps one day I will visit your, uh, D Dane, Daneland. No way. You mistake me for a foreigner, but are we not all just a measure of the places we have seen? Right, well, uh, that aside, uh, have you any further orders, Lord? 
Yes, yes. I order, I, I order you to stop loitering and return to your barracks, you scabwit. And what of the captured Danes? You must kill them all! Every last... Sorry, no. Uh, leave them here, tied up, as a... As a feast for wolves and crows. That is all, you may depart. Shoo! A convincing ruse that has earned you your freedom. Go, and make your life anew. Not in another man's boots. I will. This small sup of power has got me thinking. Perhaps I could be a l leader of men. Yes, yes. Hurry along, men. Warm thighs and ale awaits. Come on, you laggards. You have Tedman's orders. Tied up like animals. I need to free them. Thank you. Thank you so much, friend. We owe you our lives, friend. These Saxon horse sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to hit back. March with us on Rochester and drain it of riches. I would gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron-thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercia will heed the call. Giedrich will provide our viking at a hort. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored up river, but a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I'll remove it, and your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Giedrich and the men of Oxenfordshire will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. And they will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning you will go to Buckingham. Remind Giedrich of his promise. When you have his bond, meet me on the shore near Roosister with the ships. Ah, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I'll tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. You travel so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a hidden one? Always on the move? No. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Weird. <laughs> For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even Hytham? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have. I would have. There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. They bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly. Even now. I am sorry, Bessa. He was taken from me. 
by someone I trusted. A friend, a mentor. A man who I would trust with anything. But a man you trust with anything can take everything. He took all I had. With the chain down, Githrich and the ships can get through. Sister, will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. Do the Swan Road. Sail! Catch the wind! Leave sail! Eivor, we await your orders. You brought your weapons and armor? Aye, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for our friends. Well met, old friend. When the chance arrived to lodge an axe in the sod of Wessex, you thought of me. Such an honor. Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Roosester? Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole.
out. Great. Strength.
you dare to take this fortress, Dean? Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We're not here for stone and sand, Thane Titmont. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised. If riches are all you care about, the church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewerette. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah! Watch yourself, heathen! You handle me too roughly! You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane! I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me, nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill me men for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor! Enough, or I'll return you to the Saxons with ten fewer fingers. Good man, go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ slave. Twenty chests of silver. Give them all they ask, Kinnebert. A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow. I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? Air! I need... I need air! He's dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no! Rouse the man! He cannot be dead! He must not be dead! Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunibert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Kinnebert, find Fulke ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Kinnebert's abbey. You fought like beasts escaped from your hell today, Gidrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangled briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. I must be careful now.
We are the brothers, or the abbot's men. I would say, well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you, brother? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Kinnebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tedman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Kinnebert. Your guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu, I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I have killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. You will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well. That concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Kaled slipped that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did, and with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be, but it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come, let us dive into the maw of death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. Not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. 
I want Fulke to suffer. See me, this will get messy. This place swarms with Fulke's people. The cigarette will be well guarded. Caution and subtlety should be our path. Ready? Follow me! This is a trap. Why would Fulke give us her sanctum? She baits us. Cocksure and arrogant. But she cannot see failure in her path. Her fearful wit would say otherwise. Whatever we find there, keep your head. You chastise me like a child, Basim. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You have much to do in this life. I know it. War riddles, sly tongue. I sense a greatness within you both. Your destiny is not to stain the stones of this godhouse with your blood. Two arms, Basim! So we are to move you like an ox? Watch my lead! Won't survive, fool! Still here, I'll burn this Christ house to the ground. This is the place. Riddle with me. This is the place. It's riddle with the stench. Help me, Basim. Sigurd is within. The plans to the great fortress in Wessex. Is there something here we can use to breach it? The Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Hmm. Me. Have a care, Avon. You will play into our hands. This must be the way to Fulke's sanctum. Then let us go. The Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Hmm. What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons?
me that you found something. Anything we can use. I may have. A fortress in Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. Hmm. If he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Bessem, she severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tedman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. <laughs>